<laughs> Ready? Okay. So we're doing a little demonstration about how to measure a dot. Here we have Kayla. She's a little bug with DM. So the first thing is you can see Kayla can't really stand. So what we need to do is hold her up. So I'm going to hold her right here in front of her thighs on her pelvic floor. And we're going to make sure her top line is level. We're not holding her up higher than a normal stance. And now Hannah's going to take her measurements. Oh, oh so make your feet on the There you go. So I am not going to do it. So, okay, for measurement A, place your hand on top of the scapula. I'm using a metal tape measure. Measure to the top of the scapula. For measurement B, Follow that line down to the center of her shoulder and measure to the front of the thigh. Can you get on this side down so they can see her? You can stay here and I'll tell you where the points are. Okay, center of shoulder, front of thigh. So then we get nine. Okay? Make sure the dog's body is straight. They have a tendency to curve and we're going down. What's she doing right now? Okay. Next is C, which is a critical measurement. You want to measure the top of the thigh front to back, from here to here. Four on one side, and on this side, we have four again. And then for D, we're going to come in behind her, put our hands between her legs, and measure to her pelvic floor. Seven. Seven. So that's the normal proportion. Her A was 12 and a half, D was seven. It's usually between around two thirds of A. Now the E's, and we're using our caliper. Take it straight, straight, honey. There you go. We want to brush the top of the fur. We don't want it to be too tight. Think of this as a comfortable jean fit. Seven and three eighths. And then we go to the widest part of her ribs for the next one. And she tapers from the shoulders back, so we know that the ribs are going to be less than the shoulders. You know, use your eyes. If the numbers don't reflect what you see, then double check yourself. Some dogs are widest at the shoulders, others are widest at the wrists. And if it's a greyhound, it might well be widest at the neck. But pugs taper to the rear. Okay, and then we do the wrist. Make sure to include the top of the thigh, especially if there's not high Okay, so three quarters. And that's all there is to it. Good job, honey. All right.